Yeah. What about you? Because you're doing the truth. Yeah. Yeah, well, I decided, like, there's a lot I like about... That's not really part of the main game. Well, it's, I mean, it's obviously the main game, but, like, there's a lot of lore stuff that I think could be, one, great to do deeper research research on make good like i love making the truth series whether i like it's or not like for example my the best video i've ever made on my channel i think you'd probably agree is the empirical truth explained video mm -hmm. or maybe you'd think this probably other one would be the history of abstergo like you know where i went yeah, through all yeah. the modern history yeah they're both great yeah. those two are probably the best videos who's the father of understanding those you know those are the best videos i've done the truth series that i've done this year those are my best videos mm -hmm. do i when it comes to the empirical truth, do I think that modern day storyline they're making the whole break the code break the note is good? Not really. Do you, would you be able to tell that from my video? No. No. Because that because the truth series is unbiased. I don't give my opinion. I'd literally research, analyze, and explain what is. Yeah. I might make, and I'll make theories about what I think that will lead to based on what we know, not what I want it to lead to, what I think it'll lead to. I'm not going to be like, well, I wish that this would happen so that this happened. I'm like, no, no, no. This probably means this. Like, I make an educated guess. It's doesn't, not about whether I like it or not. It's just about what I think is going to happen. So I think there's a lot that I can do with that. I've got a whole bunch of ideas. I've listed five, and I put up a poll of what one people want to see first, which is the modern-day story explained what's going on. So I'll go through – and ex you know, do my background research, explain who all this cast and group of characters are, what's happened in that year between Origins and Odyssey, what happened in that storyline, and where's it kind of going. And because this modern day storyline is linked, like finding the main point, it's the first modern day cutscene explains they're trying to find a staff that has a certain power. I won't, you know, any, no spoilers. Mm -hmm. But that, if you've watched my Empirical Truth video, that was what was set up. There's obviously no much explanation because the modern day is terribly written at the moment, but I'm going to make a video that will give everyone the real details. If you want to know, well, what happened in that year in between? Why are they finding this stuff? Why are they searching for this reality bending thing? Well, I explained in this empirical truth video and I'll connect. It'll be like the sequel to that. So I'll explain what's going on in the modern day based on what I've already explained, what's happening here in between, mm -hmm. and then what's happening in Odyssey. Then I'll do an ending explained. So the whole like main ending of the game um, and kind of what that means. Yeah. Mythical creatures in the universe go over all the mythical creatures in Odyssey, how they're involved, what they represent um, in Greek mythology, as well as what yeah. they represent in this world. Are they real uh, or are they, you know what I mean? That sort of thing, how they exist in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lost City of Atlantis, I'll probably save for when the DLCs are all out so I can really do a deep dive into the whole city itself. Mm -hmm. Um and what it means, then the Cassandra Alexios lineage explained, go into that, do a truth video on that. Like, I just think there's a lot of great ideas, and I think this is what I'm going to do with the truth series from now on. Not just, oh, it's been a month, I better make a new truth series, I better come up with something. It's just, yeah. no, when a new game comes out, what that gives me, I'll make truth videos from, and it's like mm -hmm. seasons. And once there's, when there's no game, I don't really make it. Unless I have a real good idea I want to do, yeah. um, I don't really make truth videos and there's a, I have got more than those five ideas already there's a couple of ideas that I got to like to do a video just on the forge like what the forge is mm -hmm. who 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 you know how it's built what it's you know goal you know purposes that you know and involvement with the spear of Leonidas so it'll be like the forge and the spear the kind of a history of those that artifact in that place so there's a yeah. bunch of ones and I haven't even finished the game yet so there might even be more truth videos That's to make sure. I'm sure the cult I could do because you learn the, how the age of the cult of cosmos as well in this world a bit through some past cutscenes, flashbacks. So mm -hmm. could do that. There's a whole lot of ideas that I could do, and I think there's some really actually good video ideas. Mm -hmm. Is it is it all stuff I think's amazing and great? It's not necessarily, but I think I can make great videos from it anyway, regardless. And I think it's would be good for people because people want to know what the fuck happened in that year gap. Like they don't know. And that's a fair question. I've got heaps of people asking me, like, I hate how they did the year jump in modern day. Like, what happened? I'm like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll save you because I'm better than Ubisoft um, and I'll save you. So that's that's what I do. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that'll be some good shit. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, but my, my plan is, like, a truth video, a video on another game, like a Red Dead video, yeah. a truth video, Kingdom Hearts 3, truth video, Fable 4 video, you know, like Halo yeah, Infinite. Yeah. So kind of, Still do whatever I want, 
and I've got heaps of months of videos written out that I've got planned, like where can Uncharted go next, blah, 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 things like that. Yeah. So, but that'll be the schedule, like truth, uh, you know, up until probably all the DLCs are out. That's when the truth will be done. I'd say for this until the next game. Cool. What are you feeling at this current juncture? Mm-hmm. Are you feeling like a Bayek sequel can happen? Not even will happen. Can it even happen? Yeah, it can definitely happen. Just you know, got to get the right people to say yes. I don't think that. I don't think that 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 team doesn't want to. I think, given the opportunity, they'd mm-hmm. love to. Um, but will they be allowed to? I mean, I don't know. I is that why? Like, maybe I don't know. Were they waiting to see the feedback of Origins to go to to be like, right? Well, then. Let's do another Bayek story because we still haven't got Bayek in a comic yet. Like, they haven't done anything yeah. with this highly popular character, which is unlike yeah. Ubisoft. Um, it's really... Str- it's like, straight away, they made comics of Aya. They were like, fuck it, let's just do comics of Aya. Um, but they didn't yeah. capitalize on Bayek, which is not is very unlike them. So, yeah. is that because they are waiting to see the the response and to be like let's wait and see yeah. and then if we get a good response it's worth doing another game um yeah I, would you want like now that greece has been done do you just think they should do rome ancient rome and but but then also do you'd have to be a bigger map wouldn't just be rome you'd have rome and then the surrounding region yeah. would you have like the whole of italy or would you just have i just think you need the countryside of like don't do the whole fucking you know what i mean like it'd be the too whole much of northern to mid like italy the whole thing Let's have like your know, Florence and everything, but it's not because it's ancient times, so it's yeah, not. Yeah. It'd just be um, other cities, Pompeii. Uh, could would they? I mean, I don't really know what they'd do. I suppose they'd have to make like, is I don't know. I would like, but also another point actually is talking about choice. They've said choice is here to stay in Assassin's Creed for the foreseeable yeah, future okay. that that's the issue and that's the issue i'm more worried about like i don't want to play as bayek where cutscenes are 10 times worse than the game he was originally in yeah where he looks like a spastic you know what i mean yeah, like i don't, I want, don't that. want that but but if, it's, but if it's the origins black flag team i feel like there's got to be that level of polish they always add to their games like, yeah, but will they have the time to do it? I don't know. I mean, being that, I mean, they're passionate about what they do. Like they said, like they fought to keep their team together after Black Flag when Ubisoft wanted to split them up. You know, they, they like when the, when Origins are released, you even you saw Ashraf on Twitter interacting with people, asking people questions about the game. They actively made changes that people were talking about and wanted in the game. Like the community was, it's the I think it's the best it's ever been when Origins launched like the, yeah the, i mean the way the i love the whole the community. Stuff. um like i feel yeah. that i i feel confident in ashraf's team even though it's not his te- like he's not the leader of the team but his team to add that polish he's i the don't face of the team though he is um and but the the question is will they remove the male female choice from the game or will that stay now because ubisoft always i feel like they're a bit they're they're always a bit apprehensive to remove features like that from their games once they're in them um yeah would they do you choose between bike or Aya and then play the same story or oh god see that's fucking st- i would rather no i'm and i said this someone said this to me today like or oh, even if you just want choice you can choose as Aya. i'm like no this is something when it comes to bike sequel it's something i'm not compromising on yeah i want a bike sequel and i play as bayek and that is fucking it. There's no compromising. There's no, oh, maybe it, but no, no. There's mm. just Bayek, and I'm playing as Bayek. Eat I my agree. dick. Yeah, I agree. But That's it. It's not something I'll ever compromise on. How like, are they either give go it to me. It? Because, well, I'll will tell you, I'll tell you, remove... it's real easy. It's real easy. What you do is you write a story with Bayek <laughs> in it, and then make that game. Yeah. And don't have yeah. choices. Ideally, I agree. But they can't, can they? They're not going to. I can't. That's the thing that's holding me back. Like, I'm like, a bike sequel they could easily do. But Assassin's Creed has changed so much for, like, the worst 
since Origins, that it's like, they can't just go back and make Origins 2. Like, it's not going to work the same. Let's, I'd let's love them shoot, to. Let's but... put back, make these RPG, you know, fucking things, you know? Yeah. And let the Ashraf's team make real Assassin's Creed games. I'd like them to. With assassins in them. Yeah. You know oh, what man, I mean? That'd be great. I don't know. I I don't know what they're gonna do. I still would love to see a Bayek sequel, um, but as long as it is a Bayek sequel and not a, you know, Bayek or Aya. Yeah, um, Bayek sequel. We'll get fucked. Yeah, I hope so. I'd love to see it. Um, it's weird though. They'd have to remove all of the first Civ like combat stuff. They'd have to put the shield back in. It'd be like i don't think people would take to it well because the mainstream audience see odyssey as an improvement over origins and if they suddenly remove things well yeah like you know the ign gave origins like a 7 out of 10 but gave odyssey a 9.2 and it's like everyone is raving about odyssey in like the you know games media everyone's saying it's like the best thing ever but a lot of people like origins is a bit meh um so if they were going to do a bike sequel obviously they'd have to if they were going to do it they'd have to get the law right so you can't have like all these special first civ abilities because bike doesn't seem to have first civ dna because the apple doesn't react to him so he can't have any of that shit um but if they removed that you're going to get people like greg fucking miller being like oh my god they removed oh, my fucking fuck. fire sword and everything it's like why did they remove all these cool abilities to make me an epic spartan warrior They've ruined the game. Like, you're going to get all of people like that talking shit and being like, this is not as good as Odyssey because they've removed things. And it's, can Ash's team make that compromise of removing those things but adding a bunch of other really cool things to to make that compromise? Of like, look, here's all these cool things that work for Bayek's lore and his story. You know, I I don't know how they do it. I don't really envy that position of having to do that, to be honest, with when you've got the fan base of Assassin's Creed that is so incredibly fucking, like, split. Like, you've got the fans of Assassin's Creed, and then you've got the fans of, like, Odyssey. And then you've got, like, the fans of Syndicate. Yeah. And you've got, like, the fans of AC3. And, like, they're all split. They're not the same people. Like, because they've made so many different fucking games. And so it's just, it's so incredibly yeah. split. It's like, what do they do to, to, to please people? To me... Their, their decision will just be, we're not fucking going back. We're just going to do something else. Like, I... I yeah. No, I, I mean, I think <laughs> Bayek won't get a sequel because I think they can't. Yeah. Because of what the other decisions other executives made. They've, you know, played their hand, yeah. if you will. Um, and it's unfortunate. But I just think, uh, that's what I want to discuss. Like, I want to discuss what is it, not will it happen, because I think it probably won't, but is it still even possible to happen? And based on this discussion, like, it doesn't even look likely it's possible based on, because of Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Which is, you know, just, it's just not likely. It just, just yeah. makes me feel physically ill. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I agree. Which is... You know, I don't know what they're going to do next, but they're taking that break. Do you do you think, in terms of the next Assassin's Creed game, assuming it's not a Bayek sequel, do you think they'll continue in this ancient period, or do you think they're going to change? Because 2020 could be the release of the next-gen consoles. Do you think they're mm, going to... That's true. It'll be, it could be a long... No, but it'll be like Black Flag where they'll do both. They won't do... They, yeah. The first next-gen game will be the game like after 2020's game. Not like a Unity, yeah. Yeah, this would be like Black Flag where it's on both. So, um, this will be the crossover game. So this, will I think be it'll be still ancient. Period. I think, yeah. I think it'll be set in the same. Period. I think they're doing ancient Rome. I think you have to. Yeah, you can't. You can't leave ancient period without doing Rome. But you they'll can't. do it in like that's eighty. Like safe bets. Like the year like eighty or something, so they can have the Colosseum or something. Like I don't know. Or like and the, the assassins 100. in there. Like I, I, I'm sure they'll have assassins in the next game. You'd have to think, right? Like, even if they don't have it be a bike sequel, they have it. I would still love that storyline of even if your bike, like an apprentice of bike, bikes in there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And whoever you're playing as is like his apprentice That'd or whatever. Kind of I don't know. Me off, actually. Yeah, but it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? At least you could tell what happened with the assassin. Because I still want to know like how the assassins continued to develop. As long as you're playing as a good and, uh, character, 
Like as long as the character. Yeah, and I want good. the Brotherhood system back, and like yeah. you see, Bayek's time kind of pass, and the next first mentor after the the founder, you know, happens. Like, what's that story like? Yeah, like when the original the mentor, founder yeah. of the assassins dies, like how does the assassins stay together when the person that built them's gone? That'd be an how interesting. How did it become? Yeah, how did how did it become? A group because it's one thing when someone creates a group that they created and they're the leader, but when they go, how does it then stay cemented so strongly that it lives for thousands of years? That's the story I want to know. Mm. It's the person that could be that came after Bayek and Aya. That's the one that you know. It's a make or break when that when those people die in in um, Aya and Bayek. It's a make or break. It's either this becomes a group that lives forever, which it did, or it becomes a group that disbands forever. Yeah, and it, it's a group that did live forever. So how did that happen? I want to know. Yeah, that'd tell be me that story. story. That's I, a... I um thought up an idea that I think would be cool and would easily easily tied into the first of modern day story they've been telling is Layla's trying to figure out it seems a way to read time the same way that Isu can read time like with that whole sixth yes, sense right. thing. Yeah. Um, and so what yeah. I thought could be interesting is maybe there's an artifact. I believe the Spear of Leonidas does slightly, but maybe there could be another artifact or a temple or something that allows people to do that easier like to be able to read time that sort of like you know aids you in that so perhaps yep. Bayek um could find um that at some point in his life maybe that's somewhere and he finds this this tool or this temple to help people read through time um and the the the, the whole story of the game it could be Bayek is getting older and his conflict is he he doesn't know if this order is going to live past him and that's his continual conflict throughout the game. Like he can, he can come up with the social stealth and the tenants, and nothing is true, everything is permitted, and all of this stuff. And it's set like there. You've got all the pieces of the creed, but he doesn't know if it's going to live past him. And that could then tie in to then him finding this thing that allows to read time, which would show him as well. Like he could see glimpses into the the future of the creed because it's something that's playing on his mind. Like the temple would tap into yeah. that. And he could see these glimpses yeah. of like Altair and Ezio and all these things. And to Bayek, it's like he sees that, like to, to, to have Bayek see that his creed and his order that's so personal to him lives for thousands of years, I think would be a really nice moment and a really cool moment to tie up his story. And then that could also tie into the modern day with Layla finding this thing that would help her, you know, be able to read time. And I thought that'd be a really nice, a nice way of doing it. 